Hey guys, I'm Mr. Here, and we're welcome to episode number two of the Chelsea Corona people. And first of all, I want to say thank you so much for the last episode's response. Obviously, uh, we've got like 200 something views, and we've got 12 likes. Obviously, it's not great. I feel like there's nothing special to my channel because YouTube takes it my likes. So, obviously, I normally stream on my channel. If you guys don't know, I stream every day except for Sunday now, and um, I'll get around 20 odd likes and whatnot. And then, surprisingly, as the evening goes, I have like one like left. I'm like, what? How does that make sense? How do I only have one like or two likes, whatever? And it's like, I have like 10 people sometimes check my stream. So how can I just have one like if there's 10 people talking in my stream at one point? How does that make sense? But anyway, uh, it is what it is. And I think I'm just, I'm, I'm accepting my fate with YouTube not wanting me to have likes. So it is what it is. But anyway, that's what it is. So I do appreciate you guys for that. And also, I appreciate everyone that dropped a comment in the last episode. Obviously, I asked you guys who I should sign and uh, who I should sign and what not. So obviously I've got a few responses, but obviously I'll be implying them this episode or trying to do as much as I can from those comments. Uh, but yeah, before we head into that though, I also asked you guys to vote for who you guys think was the best player last episode. Basically, the player of the episode. And obviously there was a vote on my community tab with the poll, as you guys will see now on your screen. And it was between Mendy, Werner and Pulisic. And Werner obviously won easily. Like if I think he won by like 50 something, 58% altogether. He won. He got the most first votes, sorry. And obviously, Mendy got around 40 or 30 something votes. With Pulisic not really getting much, but either way, um, it is what it is. But obviously, it was between Werner and uh, Mendy. And obviously, Werner won it quite comfortably uh, in the end. But yeah, appreciate everyone that voted. Thanks so much for doing so. So yeah, with that, I was the player of the episode uh, for episode one. So the first player. Uh, of the episode on this series, um, but I POE. I think it's easier, I think it's easier to say POE, POE of the um, uh, of the episode. Also, guys, be sure to obviously vote for the next one. Obviously, the poll should be live at some point uh, after this videos come out. It may be like ten minutes later, just so that it's like the not two things come out together. So I've said I've got a whole little schedule thing that happens t ten minutes later. So yeah, so be sure to vote on who you guys think is the player of the episode in this episode. So anyway. <laughs> With that all being said guys, let's head into the comments. So guys, the first comment that we have is from Charlie Town and he said to sign Kunde for right centre back, uh, sell Barkley, cancel Sol's, uh, Sol or Sal's loan um, as they have plenty of midfielders. Also he said I should play the 5-3-2 formation, have Lukaku up front with either Werner or Havertz and rotate the two based on the form, on their form sorry. Uh, play Kovacic, Kante, Mount as the three centre mids, but convert Mount from a cam to a centre mid, and to sell Jorginho as he's slow and makes too many mistakes, and to loan out a Hudson Odoi, pull a stitch and buy back Tammy Abraham. As in real life, also Christensen as well as to leave and get Sule or Sule, I can't, I'm not gonna lie, I can't say the brother's name, I forgot how to pronounce it because I know there's an accent somewhere, I don't know if it's on the U or the E, whatever it is. I know it's pronounced differently, Sule or Sule, I don't know how to pronounce it, or Sule, I, don't know, I ain't gonna try, but I'll try and learn it afterwards. Uh, and obviously, in, um, obviously to replace Thiago Silva uh, in the following season to sign obviously him in January to so get like, a pre-contract sorted out. So that once the season ends, the following season, we'll have him on our team to replace Silva. And obviously he gave us his starting 11, which was Mendy, James, Kunde, Thiago Silva, Rudiger, Chilwell, Mount, Kante, Kovacic, Lukaku and Havertz or Werner uh, depending obviously as he said on their form. And uh, he said also to sell uh, Ziyech uh, and obviously to sell all their players like low rate players, the young ones that will never be used and they have to keep in Val and Hall etc. Focusing uh, a lot on youth development too and obviously these are the ideas that he gives. So first I want to appreciate you for the comment man, thank you so much for your in depth comment so thank you so much for that. But what I'm going to do, I'm not going to take everything from your comment uh, because I feel like I do agree with many things, so whatever I do agree, I'll obviously try and do those, but I will not put the ones that I feel like I want. Like, obviously, it's my opinion and I don't think would work for a team. So that's the way it is. So the first part is to sign Kunde, which I'll definitely be doing. I'll be definitely signing Kunde onto a team uh, who obviously will be, obviously, you think it's be linked to Chelsea in real life anyway. So it'll be a great sign to have, in my opinion. So definitely it's coming onto a team. He said to sign Barkley and uh, cancel loan, uh, sales loan. So I'll definitely be saying, I'll, I'll put them on the transfer list and hopefully they'll get sold on the uh, at some point in this episode of course and obviously with uh, Sal uh, obviously we'll let him go as well uh, I do agree with that idea we do have many midfielders obviously because obviously it feels like a bit of a competition to like to pick and choose who I should play on the team you know what I mean because sometimes because they're all great players in my opinion so obviously it's like 
do I really need that many midfielders in the team? So that's why I thought I do agree with that but I don't know why they loaned Sal into a team for some weird reason. But anyway, it is what it is. So obviously, I'm going to let him go. Um, and obviously, uh, he said to use the 5 3 2 formation, which I kind of was like, cool, I might as well use that because I use the 5 4 1 anyway. But obviously, if you read further down, he said to convert uh, Mount to a centre mid from a cam, of course. And I wanted to check, it takes him 21 weeks to become a centre mid. It's not that long, it's like half a year, it's not bad. But when I was like, you know what, I might as well check Kante, because Kante is a CDM. And for him to become a centre mid, I think it's like 100 and something weeks, maybe more. But it's like basically going to take two plus years for him to become a centre mid. So I won't be converting Mount at the moment or Kante. I will wait until obviously I see how I feel like because. What if I don't like the 5 2 or the 5 4 1? What if I feel like I might try to do maybe 3 at the back or 4 at the back? I don't know. So I'm going to wait and maybe let down. Maybe in January we'll start doing things like um, actually selling players and whatnot that we really don't need. Okay, we may not need one whatnot. Because obviously he said to sell Z at the end, of course, but I feel like I will not let him go. And obviously to loan out uh, Hudson Doy and Pulisic, which I won't be doing either. Well, I might actually put Hudson Doy on loan though, that's for sure. I'll definitely do that. So I'll definitely put him on loan. But with Pulisic, I'm gonna keep him for now. Same with Ziyech, purely because if I do not, if I need to form, I need players who to have played play on the wing and whatnot. At least I have those two in the team for now. So that's what we're gonna do. So until January, I won't be doing, I won't be selling those players or learning other players. I might just keep him, keep him on for now. And obviously, he said the sign time April, I would definitely be do as well. I feel like he is, he's obviously at Rome. He's been at Roma. He's been doing quite good there as well. He's been doing quite phenomenal. And I feel like we have two at the front. He could definitely play. Even if you're at one at the front, uh, depending on what formation I do choose to do in the future, um, what I might do, I might make, make Werner a, like a winger in some sense, if I, instead of a striker or like a left mid or whatnot. And then um, have Lukaku and Tammy Abraham rotate, if that makes sense, throughout the season. So that way at least they both get enough game times and whatnot and that kind of thing. So that's what I'm thinking of doing, at least that's what I may do. He also said that Christensen has played quite hard to leave in real life and uh, and to, to get Sula as a pre-contract signing in January for so obviously we'll wait until January for that of course and I feel like I would let Espelot go as a Espelot I'm not sure I have but I'm, I'm will let Espelot go and I'm going to keep Christensen and I feel like Espelot he's obviously getting older and whatnot we might as well send him um, away and whatnot and obviously have um, what do you call it Christensen play or oh, I could keep him for now and obviously have him as a rotation with James uh, but I'll see I'm not really sure what I'll do in that sense I'll think about it throughout this episode and see what I feel like doing and obviously he uh, he gets said for us to um, sell the youth players and whatnot, and to have a youth development of that stuff, which I do agree with. So with that, I want you guys to tell me who I should uh, obviously what should I try and scout for? Sorry, like where should we go for? Should we go for a goalkeeper? Should we go for like a, a centre back, a midfielder, a striker? What should we go for? And where should we go to, guys? So I want you guys to tell me in the comments down below who and where we should go for, like what position to go for, and where in what country we go for and that stuff. So yeah, with that being said, let's come to our next comment. Obviously, before I want to thank so much Charlie for your comment, my guy. I appreciate it so much for your in-depth comment. Uh, but yeah, with that, let's head to our next comment. The next comment is from HDV, and he said to start Kepa for FA Cup games. And I think he meant any competition, um, or any competition, uh, which I do agree. With. I think Kepa will definitely get more game time of a competition like FA Cup, Carabao Cup, all that stuff. Um, he may even get some league games depending on how I feel. Uh, but yeah, I do agree with that, my guys. I appreciate your comment, my guy. I appreciate it. So Tomlin said to be realistic, and I said, "What do you mean by What do you mean by that?" And he said, "Ah, oh, as in a realistic Chelsea career mode, and to use a four-three-three attack or holding um, as they do in real life." And you can see the manager right now wants to use two two Perfect. I've heard his German name, his German version, and his English version. I think I think I just mixed them up together. I'm mistake. But anyway, yeah. So he said to use he uses four at the back and all that stuff. But anyway, I did respond saying that I'm just trying to form the series and whatnot. So I'll do what I feel like is right if I, for me to enjoy the series. You know what I mean? But anyway, so I'll definitely see um, if the five three two or the five four one or five whatever formation we use the five at the back. If it doesn't feel good, I'll definitely try the four three three. Um, if the, this formation doesn't suit me, you know I mean, we'll give it a try. Why not? Yeah, I mean, we'll give it a try and see how it does. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate your comment, man, Tomlin. Much love for that, brother. But anyway, with that, it's heading to the episode, of course. I will try and do all the tasks and obviously all the uh, um, tips that you guys given me to obviously do. So obviously, we're heading to that now. So the first thing I'm going to do, guys, is try and sign Kunde. I was going to sign Abraham as well, but we have like six days to wait before he gets full report. So I'm going to wait until then to sign him. So anyway, it's going to sign Kunde and hopefully we can bring him on to the team. It's going to cost around 58 
to 83 million. Hopefully, we can get for 58. It would be nice if we can. 62 and a half. Keep the sell on clause. I'm not against it, of course. And let's go. Okay, let's go. Lovely. We've got Kuh. Kunde is now joining Chelsea people. I actually haven't. Technically, not yet. We still have to obviously do the wages and stuff. But I think it should be an easy task to do. Okay, then we're going here to bring in Kunde to the team people. Uh, we'll give him crucial, of course. I'm not against that idea. Uh, we'll give him five years. Phenomenal. Uh, disregard that. I don't want to give him release clause. He wants 6,000. And obviously, he wants a signing bonus of six. And turn over clean sheet. I'm not going. What I'm gonna do though is edit his. Uh, you know what? Nah, bunny. Bring him on. Bunny. I don't know. What I was trying to edit it, but it's like we're Chelsea, mate. We can afford it. We can afford it. So what I'm gonna do now, guys. I'm gonna end Saul's uh, loan to us. So we have a bad option for him. Ooh. Now we're gonna let. We'll terminate the loan. Uh, if you want to buy more in the future, we need to. But right now we don't need him at the team, sadly. So we're gonna terminate the loan and let him go. So guys, I have transfer listed Jorginho and Barkley, and I've obviously loan listed Hudson Odoi. Um, actually, I've agreed to doing that. Hopefully, these guys, especially Jorginho and Barkley, go uh, within this week before because you have two weeks left. Obviously, in the first week they go because we obviously spent 62 million on um, Kunde, and for the Tammy Abraham will cost around I think around 30 plus million most likely. So. Um, if that's the case, then we need money because yeah, I think we have, we have around 40 million or so still, but I'd rather have more money than less. If that makes sense. So, anyway, that's the plan, of course. So, we've done that at least, that's done. So, guys, we've got an offer here for Hudson Adoy. Um, he's got an offer from Villarreal alone for two years, which I I like the idea of him going to Villarreal, but I'm going to try and negotiate and make it for one year instead of two. So, next year he comes back, at least we may need him. I'm not sure. If we do need him, at least we can, you know what I mean? Instead of actually obviously trying to call him back and whatnot. So to negotiate make it one year, I feel more comfortable doing that. So let's propose a one year loan. That's cool. They want to do 64 me counter that. Make it 45. 50 has got lovely. The creature are mad. I just switched it completely around to a certain degree. And they're like, cool, yeah sure, why not? Like, fine. We'll take it. Lovely. So guys, we've got an offer for Jorginho from Wolves uh, for 44.2 million. Uh, which is obviously undervalued. It's obviously because it's worth around 45. 0.1 to 66.2 so we're going to try and see if they will go for 66.2 if not we're going to cancel it I feel like we can get better offers but I want to negotiate and see if we can sell him for that much even though I don't want to sell him in the prem but if we can get that money I'm not going to argue so let's do the 66 mil thing and let's see what they say this is too much 44 counter propose 66 uh, point two keep it like that Boom. We're gonna end it, brother. We're just gonna reject it because uh, this is wasting my time. <laughs> They're not like moving up or anything. It's keeping the same price, so it's not. It's just time waste for me. So we might as well just uh, wait. So guys, we're heading into our game here against Arsenal, and obviously I'm trying the new formation. I'm trying the five-three-two formation as Charlie had uh, recommended, and obviously with that, obviously brought on Kunde. For this game, as his first game as a Chelsea player, and we're going against also a big team in my opinion. Obviously, I think it's obviously a derby to some degree. Uh, we'll see how it goes overall. Uh, can see Candy's a minus six, which is the issue with me. He's minus six for playing centre mid. It takes him a hundred and something weeks to become a centre mid as well. So that's why I'm like a bit um, like holding back to make obviously try to actually fully use the five three two as our main formation. But either we'll see how it goes. We'll try it out and let's see how we do against Arsenal people. Great little passing going on right now. Creating some opportunities. Lovely. Gonna go out wide here actually. Gonna go for James. Cross it in. Why not? Ah, not a great cross to be honest. Come on. Ooh, let's go. Come on, Kovacic. Have a shot, son. Ah, oh, saved by Leno. Come on. You can't use your strength and plan. Ah, oh, not a great header though. Not a great header at all. And therefore, a draw Damn it, the guard there, getting the ball, trying to find Aubameyang, but really good stops it nicely. Has he done the Werner? Lukaku getting the goddamn box, man. Oh, for God, says the thing I hit Lukaku, bro. I need to get him. I think I need to contact with him to let his ass be in the box. Because here's the thing, he's tall, he's big, obviously, yeah. like he can obviously move players around him, and my guy just doesn't want to get in the box. Who's lingering about? But easy with you, easy work. No! 
Ah, oh, it's a mistake, brother. I hate me. Wait, your issues with you, me. I need a spam X when I'm in a box. But I need to stop pressing X. I need to press square or circle. Mostly circle, really. But either way, now we're losing 1 0. Ah, oh, for God's sake. So far, I'm not really enjoying the formation, to be honest. It maybe it might be Arsenal that I'm struggling with, to be honest. Because I like to use the wings, and right, right now, I'm not being able to utilize it as much. Because obviously, how deep our team is sitting against Arsenal. Beautiful, come on. Great little run here. Werner, okay. uh, he didn't run to space soon enough for me. Come on, great turn. Have a shot, and it's wide. No! That was our best chance so far in this whole game. Our best chance, people. And uh, he scoffed the shot. Damn it. Oh, it was not a great pass from Lukaku. No. So I was very quiet. Actually, I thought there was a perfect little one situation. But then the pass was so dead. It was so light. Because what happens normally, if I tap it a bit too normally or a bit more, it always goes miles away from the player. Like way, 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 way away uh, from ahead of him. Sorry. Oh, come on. Lovely Silva. Let's get the ball ref. Uh, keep, sorry. And that's just going to be the end of the game. We lost against also 1-0 because of my dumb mistake I made. That one dumb mistake I made cost us the game. I wouldn't like this 5-3-2 formation. It doesn't really help me. I don't really like it because it's causing me to play more central. It's not giving me the opportunity to go down the wing. At least we don't have players that will allow me to go down the wing as much as I would like to. Um, because they're not as quick enough to play down the wing um, for now but we'll still give it a try we'll still wait a little bit we may not do well in this game either but we'll try we'll still give it a go so guys thinking about now i may not actually sell Jorginho purely because we need three center mids and if i currently have Jorginho, lots of chic barkley and that's it i don't have anyone else to like really be on the team right now so that's what I'm not going to sell Jorginho. I'll let, obviously, I'll go to Barkley, but Jorginho is going to stay in the team, guys. Because uh, if they have us, it's going to be more like a He could play, he still can play striker, or he could play centre mid and whatnot. But I'd rather have at least three players I can have on a team, minimum anyway, uh, to play to replace obviously, the midfielders, which we need three players of. So yeah, we we're going to remove uh, Jorginho from transfer list, guys. So guys, we're going to offer here for Loftus Cheek, and I actually offered uh, obviously to loan him out for one year. Which I'm going to reject, guys, as I feel like I need him at the team because obviously we don't have many players. We have very right now we need more midfielders than we ever do because we're using three of them obviously in the mid right now for the time being. So I'd rather not risk letting him go and then regret not having a midfielder to be as like a backup. I mean, we need at least at least two to three midfielders anyway, like I said before with Jorginho. So we need that for sure. So got offer for Barkley of 14 and a half. They've offered. We're gonna go for 15 if we can. Need 16 million. We'll try and do that and see if we can negotiate and get a bit more money. And let's see what they say. Hope they say yes straight away. Lovely they have. And Barkley is leaving Chelsea, hopefully. We're going to have a offer from uh, Newcastle for thing. We're going to say no to that as well. At least it's a good sign looking at lots of sheep being in demand. It's good to know that our players demand. So that way we know uh, he's a valuable player. So guys, I'm going to sign Abraham before... Uh, we head into our game against Liverpool people uh, and obviously it says we're around 34.1 to 48.2 so we're going to try and see if we can get for a cheaper price, it be nice if we can uh, but let's see how it goes Wait, what was his price? I forgot, oh, bro my mind's gone blank, I forgot what his price was it's 48, I'm going to put 48 and a half and see what it says oh no, counter, remove, exchange player, I'm not giving you Jorginho for thing so 48 and a half mate, what do you say son? Love this goal, Abraham is coming to the team people. Do you even have that money? I didn't realise, I did not look at a pro- oh for god's sake, I'm such an idiot. Uh, let's negotiate, do you have enough money? I did not check. <laughs> I didn't see how much money we had. <laughs> Hopefully we didn't mess up there. Hopefully we didn't mess up. I think we should have enough. Oh, we don't. Oh, god damn, we used our budget. That's, uh, that's, a bit, that's a bit annoying. We'll make it important. See what he says, lovely. Free contract, we'll accept that. Ah, oh, it's a big L for me, guys. Big, big L. We'll offer... We'll offer 60. And we'll give him a little bonus of... 650 as a bonus. And then we'll uh, add the little bonus to that. 
which will be goals. If he scores 10 goals, we'll give him a mil. Yeah, I mean, 666. Ooh. We'll, try, uh, we'll edit and we'll make it 70. Two and a half. Let's see what they say. I hope you agree to that. But love is go. So Abraham has joined the team. People, let's go. Oh, I did make a mistake there. I think I offered way more than actually is worth, but it is what it is. I apologize. It was 34. My god, 34, wasn't it? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. 48 was his high price, 34 was his low price. Oh, guys, I apologize. I apologize. Ah, uh, bro. It's too early in the morning for me, guys. It's too early in the morning for me. I do apologize. Okay, we're heading to our game here against the Liverpool people. We're going to still try the 5 3 2 formation for a time being and see how it goes. Uh, if not, next episode, guys, I'll be changing the formation and trying something different instead. Uh, cause I feel like if it doesn't work in this game, then I feel like, uh, yeah, it's not great in my opinion. But either way, let's see how we do. It is Liverpool taking on Chelsea. Ah, damn it. If when I was obviously running away from the cup and there's the next team would have been nicer. So that I could obviously create some space and then obviously kick it away from Van Dyke. And a shot there. Oh my god. Already? Like, you don't have to do that so early in the game for Benio. Oh my god, that's annoying, brother. That is annoying. How has my guy done that? Like, that's well press. Ah, he's some. Oh, damn it, he had to take a tight angle. It was a very tight angle from the score that, you know. Kunde was more to his left. Ah, uh, Kunde's fault. Kunde should have covered it. Damn it, he went to cover him his chest instead. Ah, uh, for God's sake, either way, <laughs> we're losing 1 0, guys. Run down a wing, brother, man. Let's go, Jorginho. Pass. Oh, what was that pass, Jorginho? Nowhere near for what I was trying to do. For Bro, why, why is it happening in this game? Like, every time I'm trying to do a key pass, the players do some dumbass shit. Damn, I was looking at options. I didn't realize thing caught to me. Ah, oh, for God's sake, I messed up there. I messed up fully. You ruined our opportunity. We were countering that. Again, I don't think Alon is quick enough for me down the wing, which is the issue. That's not against Trent, especially. Oh my! What dribbling from Thiago there! What dribbling! I can't like complain about it. The dribbling was rude there from Thiago. I thought it was gonna go wide as the outside, but he went inside instead. Damn it! And so I just had to tap it in. But the dribbling right here, rude. I thought I was doing more here. I don't think I don't know why Thiago kept on going to the right. I see. I press L two. Ain't gonna lie to you guys, but it is what it is. And it's two 0 Great. That's fine, we'll take it. It's the end of the first half, man. I don't like this formation, guys. It, it, it doesn't suit my style of play, sadly. I'm, look, we've got zero shots so far. I'm doing terrible formation. So, in this half, if we don't start doing well in this half, I'm going to change the formation in between the game and make it so... Because I feel like Dukaku and up front aren't enough for Chelsea, sadly. They aren't enough. Kovacic and Jorginho and them as are too far back. Uh, defensively in this formation, trying to catch up to them takes them a while for whatever reason it does, and it doesn't seem as attacking as I like it to be, which is leading us to become vulnerable. When I do send up Kovacic, Kante, and thing up front, the defenders are like trying to keep up with, see, with the pace of Mane, Salah, and all the man. It's a bit of an issue, so I might have to change the formation uh, in this game later on. Come on. Ah, oh, for God's sake. When it wasn't making a great run either, which is a bit annoying in the situation. I should have passed it maybe, I was just scared that he's gonna stop it. But anyway, what I wanna do, I'm gonna take up Lukaku guys. I think he's not gonna be useful in this team right now. I think Tammy Abraham will be better than this brother here. He's doing terrible for me. He's not even making runs, which is the annoying part. He's not making runs at all. He's just standing still like an idiot sometimes. So we're gonna bring on Abraham instead. We'll do the team for now. We might bring on Kovacic later on. We might do that. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do for now. I feel like this team so far has been slacking for me. I don't know why. I think it's not because uh, of them fully. I think part of my fault is I'm making dumb plays. But it's like the players aren't where I want to be. So I think the formation isn't matching my play style sadly. So it's making me make too many mistakes. I'm trying to do something which isn't really suit the play style of this formation. Lovely. Ref. So yeah, we're changing the formation. We're changing the formation quickly. 
So I will take off have of the Jorginho and Kovacic here and bring on Havertz and Mount. I'm going to bring back the 5 4 formation in this game. Hopefully, this might make the change because I feel like right now I'm struggling to just stay forward. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit of an issue. So, these formations will take. We're losing 2 0, man. Not, something's not right in the, what I'm doing right now with the team. So, I'm going to try this formation and see how it does. Hopefully, it'll be enough for us to grab ourselves a draw at least. Mendy, great save. Great, great save, Mendy. What a save, Mendy. Love that from you. Bro, they always get into K, which is annoying. Ah, oh, I forgot to say they're going to short pass again on the day off course. What a dead pass was that, brother? Nowhere near to where I wanted to go. Lovely man. Oh, thing stopped it. Damn it. Oh, for God's sake, nothing was going our way, man. Nothing was going his way our way this game. But I feel like the, the formation changed. I feel like we had more of an attack going on anyway. But damn you, nah. A big loss there. Big, big loss. 2 0. We did nothing. We barely did anything against this team. And uh, sadly, I feel like partly it was me not being able to use the 5 3 2 formation. Just for his obviously ability, so I will no longer. So I no longer use the four, say the five three two formation. Sadly, I'm going to try something else instead. I, I tried, but I don't think it works with me. I thought like we're gonna to get too many losses before I get used to the formation. You know what I mean? And I can't afford to do that. So I'm gonna keep. I will try. You know, what, I might try. I might try four in the back next episode and see how that goes for me. And if that does well, then obviously I'll try and use that in the future anyway. But yeah, with that being said, guys, I hope uh, you guys enjoyed the episode of people but yeah i'm gonna call it a day um and obviously like i said be sure to vote who you guys think was the player of the episode uh, this time it's going to be mendy uh kunde and uh, tiago silva those are the three players that are going to be the player of the episode uh for you guys to vote for so be sure to do that uh but yeah i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this be sure to drop a like be sure to subscribe to our stuff people and with that being said guys peace people